<laughs> Welcome back. And this time around, we're going to be grabbing our mesh we exported into the OBJ. It's going to be ready for our avatar here on Marvel Designer. So we can do our clothing and animations. So first of all, open up Marvel Designer. We have here a brand new uh, file. We were going to grab our model and drop it in here. Move that one away. It won't let me grab it. Okay. <laughs> On our settings here, uh, make sure you grab your scale to M for millimeters. That way, it's going to be the same one as we have here on a Blender. So your scale values will be the same. If you have anything else, then your conversions is going to be different and you're going to have more problems. We're going to make making an avatar. So we're going to be opening it in automatically add generation points. So you have a A post or T post. This will work. Our model is currently on uh, a post and this everything else can just leave as is. Wait for that to process and we have our model right here. As you can see, our private parts are now fully covered up. Our troubleshooting on our toes are now fix we did not do that for our fingers since most of the time what we're going to be doing is we're going to be lopping off the arms since that's going to be um, too tedious to do an animation especially for uh Marvel designer simulations so we end up lopping off the arms so you can pull them uh, usually around the shoulder or if you want to have some clothing, t-shirt, or whatnot, you will probably do it around the uh, elbow area. If you're good with your animations, you're editing your animations, then you won't have any issues for them. Hence, I left them as is for our template. What we want to do first is we want to create the uh, bodysuit for this before we save it as an avatar. So once we do the bodysuit, means any clothing we do to this model, they will be able to be rescaled into other avatars we have. If we just save this model and start doing our clothing, our patterns, our new patterns for this, apparently it will not work or we're not out of scale and out of fit our other models. So let's get that little uh, hiccup going. And then we'll be doing the uh, clothing in the next uh, video. So first of all, let's create a uh, fitted suit. So right here, grab the little dude. Click that one and you will get a brand new window pop up. So first of all, we need to grab the upper neck. So let's zoom in. Let's grab here and we have three points. So one, two, and let's select the third point somewhere up here. So now we have the upper neck and let's select the lower neck here. Oop. Click that one, click that one and click that one. So that created the first arrangement point. And one thing I did notice that here it says uh, left side that means left side from your actual perspective not from the model's perspective so this is the right side of the model 
Now, this is the left side from your point of view. And that's what this means. It's left side from your point of view, not the models section. So we're going to do all the arrangement points on this side only. It took me a little while to figure out. So next arrangement point is going to be the waist. So grab here. Here and it's going to be three points. So right there. One thing I really wish they added is a bus size. But can't have everything. So now the wrist. Let's grab the wrist here, here, and there. The elbow here, here, and roughly around there. Whoop. Yeah, so that's around the elbow section. And now the shoulder, which is up here. Let's select it here, here, and somewhere on here. Check how that looks. And now the upper thigh. So this one's like probably better if you do it from behind. That we can grab your uh, buttocks. So grab there. Grab there and select it from there. The knee here, 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 and now uh, your ankles here, here, and here. So now we have our general shape. If it looks good, we can place apply and we'll create this uh, wetsuit. Now you can grab it and pull them into place. And if you s see something like crisscross, that means you probably did your arrangement points on the opposite side. If it looks kind of like this, then you are Fairly good. Now we need to adjust the bus size. So I'm gonna grab this and keep on pulling into fit it into your model. So grab. Doesn't need to be perfect. But you need to get it fairly close okay so this point all right so that looks good so any kind of clothing that will fall into place will hit the avatar and pop out Okay, so here, now we can save our model. This will save the model, including this uh, wetsuit. So saving. And let's call this one, uh-oh. One, version three. Um, let's give it a name. Yeah, crap, can't think of this new one. It's called new. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's call it thick version. And let's save. So that's doing it save. We can go over here to our avatars. Uh, 
and we have our model. Can't really scroll up there, but you can see the name of it right there. And this is the previous ones I made before. And these are brand new version of it. So with this concludes this uh, video. Uh, the next one. I'm going to be opening up that file and start creating our new clothing patterns for this model. Most likely I'm going to be, uh, where's our garments? Just modifying one of my previous ones. Let's go uh, full. So maybe one of these is going to be using So this is the previous one I used in the last video uh, Ah, yeah, full of it Okay, with this, uh, let's call it a video and catch you guys later.